Hi, it's Anna Mason, and in this little watercolour demo, I'm going to show you how I built up layers of paint to create this vibrant and 3D hibiscus flower. I created an outline drawing and then began the painting, as always, by painting the very lightest colours within the picture, starting with the lightest pinks within the petals. This colour was so pale it could sit underneath the darker pinks that I'd be applying on top, so I applied it everywhere. I then went on to paint the lightest yellows within the anther on the flower's stamen and the lightest yellow greens within the foliage, present in the veins of the leaves which I again painted all over the leaves including into areas which I'd be taking darker later. Then a pale green into the less yellow areas too and a pale version of the brown into the stem. With the flower dry I painted the very darkest tones next to the flower centre and some anthers before watering down a touch and extending out to the slightly lighter areas, including the little filaments. The flower was looking super disjointed, so I worked on the mid-mid tones next to begin to connect up the lightest and darkest tones. I started with quite a pale mix and applied it everywhere that was this tone or darker, holding off from lighter areas. With that dry, I created a darker mid-tone mix to bridge the gap between the layer I'd just applied and the darkest tones. I adjusted the colour of my mix to match the pinkish purples that I could see in these areas, and I paid attention to the angles of the shapes as I applied them so that they helped give 3D form to the petals. Next, I shifted to the lighter mid-tones and created a pink mix, muted down with a touch of brown, to apply with a bigger brush for a smoother finish making sure I avoided the very lightest tone areas. Now that the full tonal range was painted, the flower had some shape, but it needed darkening some more and to have more detail added. So I now went through a round of tonal adjustments, applying another layer to the lighter mid-tones where needed, then adding some darker, more grey-pink details to help give the petals a crinkly look, before working on the lighter tones some more, the mid-mid tone some more, the darker mid tones some more, and the lighter mid tones once again, always adjusting the colour of my mix and trying to match to the markings that I could see in the petals. Next I went through the same process to layer up the leaves and branch. Then it was time to step back and assess the painting as a whole, looking for more areas to darken. So again I made further adjustments with additional layers of paint, always ensuring that the paper I was working on was dry. Then finally I worked with my tiniest brush to add extra details to the petals. A full video class of this hibiscus is available now in my online school, where you can join thousands of members in getting access to a huge library of video classes, as well as a really supportive creative community. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'd love it if you'd share it with your friends. And if you'd like to take one of my full-length video classes for free, hop on over to animasonart.com where you'll find even more resources to help you pick up your brush and paint the way you've always wanted to. But remember, you won't improve your painting unless you make the time to paint. So be sure to schedule in some me time this week and paint something that you love. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another video to help you create watercolours with WOW!